In the last talk through, we played with a lot of neat functions that animate size and opacity, like slide down and fade in. Most of the time, those give you all the flexibility that you want for your animations. But sometimes, sometimes, you want to be able to have much more control. Well, for more control, we can use jQuery's animate method. Let's start with deleting all this code here. And then let's try animate on the picture. So I'll find it and then I'm going to call animate and I'm going to pass it an object. And that object is going to contain CSS properties that we want to be animated. And it'll have the final values that we want for each of those properties. We can animate any CSS property that's numeric, like width, position, margin, padding, border width, font size, opacity, all that. Let's start with width. So we'll go to 400 picks. All right, so jQuery figured out the starting value for the width, 200 picks, figured out how much to change it in each, each frame, and made sure that it ended at this target value of 400 picks. And it did it all for us, nice and easy. It did go kind of fast though. If we want, we can tell it to go slower by passing in a second parameter to animate, the number of milliseconds. Nice, nice and slow. Okay, let's animate a few more properties. We have margin left. Okay, now it kind of moves over a bit. We have border width to thicken that, thicken that green border. All right, it gets nice and thick. How about we animate our text next? So let's find the text and then call the animate method and decide what we're gonna pass in. Let's pass in a margin left again so that they both end up with the same margin left. Great. And now instead of changing its width, we're going to change its font size because that is the more appropriate thing to change. All right. So now you've got more tools in your animation toolbox. And now you're quite powerful. So don't abuse your power. Think about whether it's actually a good user experience when you animate the elements on your page. Sometimes an animation can actually frustrate users, like when it slows down their ability to accomplish some task on your site. But other times, animation can make your users happy when it adds a touch of fun or makes it more clear what's happening on your site. You should aim for happy users.